Welcome to the Cryptic Premier League week in review and this week we're going to change things up for you yet again and bring you the match of the week. Now this was an unbelievable uplink, probably the best uplink match I've ever casted and you can probably tell that by the excitement in my voice. But if you want to stick around to the end of the video I will bring you all of last week's results and the updated league table as well as next week's fixtures. So for now enjoy this amazing uplink between TWG and Cryptic Black. Cheers. Not feeling good about Cryptic Black. Regalcom has put in the chat that it's going to be 20 and oh, you know, I'm not feeling positive about this whatsoever. I'm really disappointed in that decision from Cryptic Black to get in a player that they knew may have had to go for food. Regardless, though, you know, this is probably going to be a little bit of a battering in favour of TWG. You know, they're already a very strong side when you've got four players, let alone playing them a man down. It's now three down for Cryptic Black, and I think that respawn delay is going to absolutely kill Black. And... Do you think this is going to be 20 nil, or do you think Black can lower the deficit? Because I think we both agree here that this is going to be a TWG win. Uh, I've played good teams. Oh, actually, yesterday I've played a really good team 3v4. CTF still managed to win it. Tell you what, this could be 2 nil to Black. This could be 2 nil to Black. Yeah, exactly. It is 2 nil to Black. Go. Wow. <laughs> Math is already wrong. Wow. That's incredible. But that was really heads up play from Monk there. They got a couple kills and then just managed to wrap it all the way around Green Plat, which was a shorter way to get to the uplink. And really, you just need to make sure that you get some kills. But at one point, it does go in. I think that was going to be an Yeah, it does. It was, so. And he's too barring. Well, so Monk keeps kill, stopping so. and starting. I'm currently on board with him now. And he's cost his team that one pointer because he didn't even make a play to try and run backwards. And he doesn't go to intercept it there. Monk, I don't know what's going on with him, but it looks like he's just. I don't know if he's just out. had a wrist Even attack out. or... I'm not really sure what he's doing. He got that dunk and then he just kind of stopped and didn't do anything. Regardless, the ball is now going to jump underneath him. You can see that he's not ball using Glass Suppressor, mm -hmm. which, to be honest, I think a lot less people nowadays are using Glass Suppressor on Uplink in particular. But, you know, it's two down from Critic Black already. I think after that great start, Monk just stopping is really going to cost his team. It's going to be 4-2-2 TWG. Oh... I think I'm going to time out. Nope, that was just someone lagging that I was watching. That was absolutely horrible. Dude. Well, Aniclick has just made that pass to Green Rapper, but what a horrible decision that was. He threw the ball completely towards the wrong angle. Cost his team that easy dunk because Grin was there ready and waiting. But regardless, he is now on that reset. Looks like Aniclick himself is lagging a little bit. He's currently two and three. Yeah, he's got a lot of lag. If in a click times out, you have to say game on, on and Monk gets yet Ooh. another dunk. This is 4-4. Four, four. That was no, that was that was actually heaven getting a dunk. But he's two and six. So really hope they've got host. Right, <laughs> they are three v four, but their host is going two and six. I, they are yeah. so lucky that right now Inaclick's connection is not panning out very well for him. No, Inaclick's connection has gone to absolute shit, you have to say. And that was a massive defensive kill there from Grin Rapper to get that bloodthirsty. Is he going to chuck it out in time though? Oh my goodness. Yes, he just gets out in time after eating those bullets from Loom Heavens. Regardless, I am the Monk once again on that uplink. It looks like they just can't kill Monk when he's got that uplink. We know that he's a sponge, but... Having that uplink as well. And look, he's just running through everyone as if they're not even there. Goes for the one-pointer. Just, just misses. That was going to be 5-4 to Cryptic Black. Great performance yeah, here. something that I really want to see from Monk is more one-point players. Because I think the time before he just died, he had sort of three PWG players around him. No Cryptic Black players with him. And he still tried to go for the two-pointer and just died. Absolutely. Really. You need to be going from the Monk picks up this kill. He's going to run straight past Inaclick. Yeah. Inaclick looks like he's timing out. And it's going to be 6 4. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Inaclick. Oh, my goodness. I don't think he's staying in this lobby much longer as he is lagging like a motherfucker. Although Grin currently on an 8 streak, though. Not really sure what he's trying to do there. Is he trying to throw the ball out in a bit of a glitch spot to delay the reset? Or. I, I cannot watch anyone. Oh, they shoot. Oh, they They're shoot. just lagging everywhere. Oh, what a kill from Six Axis. Saves. That two point, and he's going to chuck that ball out to be reset. Black are playing out of their mind at the moment when it comes to getting on that uplink. They are being comprehensively out slayed. But the fact that Green Rapper was on a six streak and made no attempt to even go for a one pointer or a dunk did cost his team there. Malcolm now on the aggression. Is this going to be 6 6? Is this going to be 6 5? It's going to be 6 5, surely. No. Oh, oh the interception. interception. The yeah. interception from oh, Six wow. Axis. Very, very big. But no, they're not going to go on the aggression here. Yeah, although I am the monk. He's got. Supporting Loom Heavens, they need to be quick here. They need to be quick, and this is going to be a one-pointer. 
No, it's not going to be a one-pointer. Oh, my goodness. This is going neck and neck. TWG are now going to go on the aggression through that green side. There's only 20 seconds, seconds left. And Grin has now been stunned as well. That is going to delay him ever so slightly. This should be an easy two-piece. Surely. No, it's not. It's going to be 6-6 six, six with 20 seconds to go. This is neck oh. and neck thus far. In a click, three kills and seven engagements in five minutes. Wow, this really is like a 3v3. Monk, 10 seconds left. Is he going to get any point on the board? He has going to have to go through a one-pointer. No, he's not. Malcolm does pick up a big kill there. Six axes looked like he was all over the place. But now Tiddy has joined the lobby as well. At 6-6 six, six on Biolab Uplink. Should it be 4v3 now due to inner click? One barring. Black, if they win this map, they win this series. Yeah, inner click hasn't done anything. So... Like, as you said, he's, he's forced eight engagements over five minutes, so it's just absolutely horrible. Lagging everywhere, so obviously it's kind of acceptable, but then again, you've got to kind of think that he's going to go downstairs and punch whoever's on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> absolutely. Well, you know, we're now going to have to start with Tiddy. You know, he did have to go for some food, but now he is back. It only took him five minutes, so credit where it's due. He did get back as quick as possible, and his team are still in this. Picked up a big kill there in bio. He's going to try and lock down that bio area. Away. Oh, well, exactly. And I'm the Monk is now going to go on the aggression again. Two down from TWG, as you said. Monk, very, very sloppy. Oh, very, oh very sloppy. There. Oh, my God, the melt. Oh, the melt from what? Monk. Oh, the melt. Bullets, no, I think that was a one bullet. <laughs> oh, the... the oh, somebody put that kid in the microwave because he's just been melted. Regardless, this looks going to be 8-6. No, it's not. Massive kill there from Grin Repper. Big two-piece from Grin Repper. Yeah, he's and then huge, yeah. in a click, Mr. Lag around. himself is going to go on the aggression with that uplink. But out of everyone in that scenario, why would you give the ball to in a click? <laughs> Big two piece there once again from Grin Repper. That's two times in a row. Tiddy, though, is the shield in the way of Grin Repper. It's 6 6 with four minutes to go as well. He's going to get that one point as surely, and he does. It's 7 6 2 TWG with four minutes remaining. Black really do need to make the most of the fact that it is essentially 4v3 in their favor. But I am the mark 10 and 14. He's now on that uplink. Yeah, he's going to get some extra health. No, he's not. Lone Remorse picks up a big kill with that battle on that reset. But Malcolm's going to push straight in to that opposition base. Can wait for the pass from Grin Rapper by the look of it. No, he's not. Grin Rapper's just going to go on top of Purple. Not really sure about that strategy, but he does just, just get that throw. Man. Malcolm does back off. DOG strategy there, you know. Not really sure what's going on on that front. It looks like they're going to play the reset. No, they're not. They are going to try and run it. Loom Heavens is going to try and run it. Six Axis is there in support as well. Although it looks like he's about to be picked off, is he? Is he going to get picked off? No, he's not. It's going to be... Oh, the two-piece from Lone Ross. This has so been a close. game of last-ditch kills, you have to say. It's 7-6-2 TWG. Lone Remorse is now going to go on the aggression. Although it looks like someone from Black is on that base D, and he has now been stunned. Lone Remorse has been stunned in this base. It should be an easy kill. And if they get killed here in Orange, they get killed in Orange, and uh, Black can now go on the aggression and push through that green side. But Malcolm is there. Malcolm needs to get taken out, but he hasn't been taken out, and I am the Monk just throws the ball away, and it throws it to himself. That actually worked out very nicely indeed. Oh, I thought it was going to be a big punch there from Monk. That really could have been huge for Cryptic Black. There is only one point in it with just over two and a half minutes left to go. And as you can see, Six Axis is now going to be pushing through Green Plat. TWG has only one person in their base thus far. Uh, Six Axis needs to be quick here, and this could be 8-7 to them. Is it going to be 8-7? Oh, it's so close. It's so close. I'm the Monk jumps up, though, and it's 8-7. Oh, my goodness. I'm the Monk now on 6 Uplink points as well on a three streak as well as I gonna stun that uplink as well by his teammate sometimes should pick up a kill goes for that stomp kill very very sloppy indeed in the click is lagging like a motherfucker and as you can see he is now gonna go on the aggression he's gonna go for that one point it's gonna bounce out of play again is it no it just bounces back into place this could really work out for TWG oh my goodness Loom Heavens has gone to the aggression in the click is lagging so badly that he should have had that kill but he doesn't I am the monk does trade that kill on the green repper six axis is offering support through that orange stone he's gonna go for that one pointer great decision from him 9-7 in favor of cryptic black what a game this has been thus far prodigy help me out here my voice is dry give oh, me some thoughts that was incredible literally right in a click hasn't got a kill since that intermission and a half oh he's just picked up one just as i call him out wow right six axes last one alive gonna go top of oh sp run out the ball God. and make sure that no one can push forward with this ball well, in a click, really. 
<laughs> and click is lagging so huge. badly right now. <laughs> he is yeah, lagging I, so I badly cannot, right now. I cannot watch him. I literally feel ill watching him skip around. He had the upling and he was running into a wall. And his, uh, this is going to cost TWG this game, surely. At the start of this game, we said it was 3v4. We said Black were done for. This was going to map number five. But Black, credit to them. Even 3v3 beating TWG is not easy whatsoever. But Tiddy coming back in has really been the difference. It was 6-6 six, six after round one. There is less than one minute to go. Oh, I'm the Monk needs to go big. I'm the Monk needs to get this big defensive kill here. I don't think he is going to get his defensive kill. It is going to be 9-9. Nine, nine. It will be 9-9 nine, nine with less than 45 seconds left to go. Two down from TWG. Two down from Cryptic Black. Grin Repper on that uplink. And he does get a big kill there on Heavens. He needs to get another big kill though. He does get it on Zigzag. This goes down three piece on that uplink blink as well. Grin's not going to go the aggression, but he has now been stunned. He needs to get one more kill in this purple area. Is he going to get this kill in purple area? No, he's not. Heaven's massive two-piece there in purple. Iron the Monk is going to go on the aggression. 20 seconds oh, left, but he down. gets taken out in that mid-bio, but Heaven's is point. in front of him. One, Heaven's is in front of him. This is 15 seconds left to go. Can he get the one oh. point? He goes for the one point. Oh! oh just misses. Oh my it's god, that must have been by a centimeter. This is 9-9. Nine, nine. This is going two over time. What a game. Oh Black, my god. That, the thing that Black should have done right there, right? Run it back blue, get on top of blue, and you can throw it straight from there off of a head glitch to get a one pointer. You don't need to keep running blue cart with no cover. It makes absolutely no sense. You send a Slayer blue cart to pick up the kills, big crane, just so that you cannot be picked up top blue, and you can get a one pointer straight from there. Easiest thing ever. And the click is 6 to 15. So here we go then. We are going to jump on board with Tiddy, who just misses that one pointer with a few seconds ago. But regardless, Black must be feeling good at this stage. They know Inner Click is lagging very, very badly. Inner Click's only got into 21 engagements this whole game after 10 minutes of play, which isn't enough. But Six Act is now going to go on the aggression. Three down way. from TWG. It's only been 20 seconds played. If Six Act makes this pass, oh, he doesn't make this pass. Well, then Monk does trade that kill on Grin Repper. And Monk has now been EMP'd. Massive EMP there from Malcolm. Inner Click is now on that uplink. And you have to say, maybe his lag will help him. He already got one duck because of his lag and he's now made that play to Malcolm. Malcolm is going to push through this ring area. Someone from Crypto Black set up in ring though. Is this now going to be a one pointer after That's just a few point. seconds played? It will oh, be a dunk, dunk after 43, 43 seconds. seconds. Black have fallen apart. It's 4v3 essentially in favor of them and now they are going to have to go absolutely massive. Now I am going to end the game here for you as that was an unbelievable performance from both sets of sides. But TWG did hold on for the final 43 seconds and my goodness what a set of results we've got after week 3 of the league. So I'm going to round them up for you right now. First up, 100% British Beef Thrash Revelation Elite 3-1-3-0. I thought it was going to be a lot closer but clearly not. Cryptic Sense 3-1-3-0 against Phoenix Gaming. Great result for them. Don Gaming versus SGs. Arguably the biggest upset of the week. Don, 3-0, 3-0 on what was the top of the table Shadow Gaming. Scary stuff from them. Total War Gaming versus Black. We saw the uplink uh, in the series involved in Black's home series. And that series actually TWG won. So they beat Black off of host. But then they lost on their own host. So that was 3-2 to TWG off host. 3-1 to Black on TWG's host, so we've finally seen split points here. I told you it would happen eventually, and it's finally happened now. Finally, though, Invictus versus Exposure, 17th in the EU ladder versus 7th, 3 0, 3 0 to Invictus. It was a dominant display from them. Great debut week. But now we move on to next week's fixtures, and we've got some unbelievable clashes lined up. Sense versus Revelation Elite is your first fixture. Don Gaming versus Beef is your second fixture. What a game that's going to be. TWG versus Phoenix Gaming. Top of the table meets bottom of the table. Cryptic Exposure versus Shadow Gaming. Both have fallen in the past week quite dramatically to be honest with you. So both teams will be looking to bounce back and they are both great sides. And then finally Invictus versus Black. What an unbelievable game that looks to be. And if you look to the left of your screen, TWG now three points clear at the top of the table. Phoenix Gaming still bottom of the table there. They really do need a big week soon. Otherwise, they are all but doomed. But the rest of the table is there for you to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, on the other hand, drop a like. Any thoughts, drop a comment. And as always, hit that subscribe button. Cheers.